Hello everybody, welcome to another video about EQ Sage, EQ Requiem, and the umbrella of all the other projects that are related to that. Today I'm introducing a new sub-project called EQ Nexus. This will be the file distribution manager for EQ Requiem once the server is launched publicly, and it's an in-game patcher that makes sure the files are up to date for a server, and also allows for different custom servers to have separate files uh, with one base ROF2 installation. So this is up on GitHub, and it's all open source. It's for EQ players. Uh, they would go to the release section and download a few files and throw it in the EQ directory. And for server operators, if they want to opt into this functionality as well, I'll be demoing that here in a second. And people can locally develop this as well. So I'm just going to pop into EQ and kind of go from there. So like I said, this is embedded within EQ. This is uh, the uh, EQ server patcher. And always gets the latest data to make sure that the uh, servers that had registered here uh, are up to date or not. And right now I'm working from a base value. I don't have anything installed, so I'm gonna have to um, install these. So I can update this. I'll do that here in a minute, but first let me log in. And it also makes a check to make sure that our core version is uh, synced with the latest as well. So right now I purposely don't have the latest core version and it'll give me a link to pop up here and go there and download the latest. This is where EQ players would go and extract the zip file into their EQ directory. So not saying that would break anything, but usually always a good idea to have the latest version. Um, so here, I have Re Requiem and Hero's Journey. First, what I want to do is, um, and this is just kind of a proof of concept, the Hero's Journey is a new uh, MU server that just launched, really cool server, and I'm just kind of throwing this in here as a, a secondary thing to mess around with as a proof of concept to see what, what it would look like if we have multiple servers laid out here. Ideally, <clears throat> in the future, this would list a, a lot of different servers that had different configurations, different files, and every time you log into that server, it would only take the files just from that. So you wouldn't need to have an installation for every single custom server that you're playing on. But here, uh, first I'm going to log into just a normal server. Can I show the, uh, the difference? Okay, so here's my server, just a regular level one human monk, North Quenos, hanging out here and everything looks pretty normal. The human Luquin models are enabled. I'm just gonna run out to the gate here because I'm gonna show a bit of a difference from the custom server that I have uh, working on right now. I'm, I've mentioned it before, but for Sage and Requiem, I'm also kind of concurrently working on custom zones. So I'm going to be editing the Quinus zone and Quinus Hills and adding a new zone as well. I'll show that off here in a sec for how those are actually backed by files. Okay, so I'm here in Quinos, everything's pretty normal. And now if I want to go back and log into my custom server, I have this listed out here as dev. <clears throat> Give that a shot. And it'll let me know right away that my patch files are out of date. I haven't even downloaded them yet, so I can go ahead and do that. those files. So it's got some custom files. These are the work in progress custom files I have for Re uh, Requiem. It's got a custom version of Quenos, North Quenos and Quenos Hills and a configuration file as well. And this configuration, uh, there, there are some different options in there. Uh, one of them is going to be updating uh, a few attributes about the Quenos 2, North Quenos. Another one will be adding a zone entry for a new zone, Bales Forest. It's going to be a custom zone that's off of uh, Queen of Sills. And there are options in here as well. We have an option toggled to disable Lookland models and to disable the map window. So I'm going to pop in here and now that I'm up to date, I'm going to make sure I'm on Requiem. and I got my custom splash screen here. Uh, pretty much any file that's in the EQ directory can be served as a uh, custom file for a custom server. So splash screen, 
uh, UI files, <clears throat> spells, uh, spell data, string files. So here we'll see that the uh, North Quainus has been changed to Quainus City and the local models are disabled just for the server. So I can go ahead and log in. And you'll see that this is North Quainos, but it's my custom version. It looks a little uh, haggard right now. It's just some uh, really rough proof of concept I'm doing in Blender, just uh, doing some terrain modification and also uh, setting some custom objects in here too. It doesn't look great, but I'm just kind of testing things out. So we have a custom zone just for the server right here that will only load when I'm on the server. So that is the whole functionality. It's supposed to be super easy to use. It's just clicking a button to build a patch. Uh, and then once you have it, it's just kind of set it and forget it. And if uh, a server updates their files, it'll check against the manifest and say it's not up to date. Um, or if someone tries to modify their files, like say, let's go in here and say, I want to try to disable that map window false. Or I'll just delete this. Then it'll be able to, to detect that so people can't tamper with the files or it'll just make sure that the files are up to date with what it expects from the uh, server. So then I would have to re-download that. And then I could play. But uh, this is it, and I am considering this an, an official kind of pre-release, alpha release here, and anybody interested uh, to test this out, uh, please reach out or just go ahead and, and download it. The Rec Room server, it's launched right now for dev. It doesn't really have anything real back behind it. You can kind of mess around, it's just really it's, it's only there for testing purposes right now, but anybody can log on if they want to. That's totally fine. So this is what I'm working on right now. And the next step after this, I pretty much did all this work just to be able to create the, uh, the new custom zone. So I'm going to be working on getting that slice up right now, modifying Queen of Hills to have a new zone connection to a new forest that's going to be to the, uh, the west and that'll connect to different parts of the world, connect back to South Queenus and the Queenus aqueducts too. So that's going to be a work in progress. Might have that done by the end of the year. And uh, until then, yeah, just uh, I'll keep everybody updated. This is something I've kind of had my head on, head down on for the last uh, month or so, but it's in a good place and I'm going to keep working and uh, getting Requiem in good shape. All right, everybody, take it easy.